Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. As we all know, the chip manufacturing process is quite complicated, with thousands of processes, and these thousands of processes require hundreds of equipment, which are collectively referred to as chip equipment, such as lithography machines, etching machines, ion implanters, etc. The degree of advancement of these chip equipment directly determines the advancement of chip manufacturing and industrial competitiveness. Most chip equipment has a resolution corresponding to a specific process, such as an immersion DUV lithography machine, which can achieve a 65 to 7 nanometers process, and an EUV lithography machine, which is used for 7 nanometers and below processes. It is precisely because of this that the United States has wanted to block the progress of China's chip manufacturing technology in recent years, which is to restrict the export of this advanced chip equipment to China. Under such circumstances, China is also vigorously developing chip equipment and has introduced a large number of policies to support the development of domestic chip equipment. For example, the technology of companies such as North Huachuang and China Micro Corporation is getting stronger and stronger, and the revenue is getting higher and higher. North Huachuang has become the world's sixth largest chip equipment company. So the question is, what is the current self-sufficiency rate of domestic chip equipment? In which processes can domestic production be fully covered, and in which processes must equipment be imported from abroad? Recently, Semi, International Semiconductor Industry Association released a data that by 2023, China's cheap equipment self-sufficiency rate has reached 35%, and it is expected that by 2025, the localization rate will reach 50%, and initially get rid of dependence on American semiconductor equipment. I guess many people don't believe this number very much, so let me show you the current coverage of major domestic chip equipment, and you will understand. As shown in the figure above, this is the process that domestic chip equipment has covered. It can be seen that in the process below 7 nanometers, there is indeed only one company, that is, China Micro Corporation, which provides related etching machine products. It can be said that there is still a long way to go to achieve domestic substitution. But at the 28 nanometers node, domestic equipment can almost cover it, at least more than 80%, only the lithography machine seems to be a little short. At the 14 NN node, many companies have provided related equipment for testing and verification, and Chinese semiconductor equipment manufacturers have also achieved more than 50% coverage. According to the analysis of professional institutions, it is expected that within this year, Domestic equipment will be able to achieve full coverage of the 14 nanometers process. Of course, the only uncertainty is the lithography machine, and the others are not a big problem. As for the lithography machine, since China has already imported a large number of immersion DUV lithography machines, there is actually no problem in meeting the requirements of the next few years. Therefore, by 2025, 
China will basically be able to get rid of its dependence on cheap equipment from the United States, Japan, Europe, etc. After all, the chips currently manufactured in China are mainly mature chips of 28 nanometers and above. As for 40 nanometers and below, although it is also urgent, it is not so urgent. China can take it slowly and grow with domestic chip equipment and make breakthroughs together. At present, the situation of China's chips is still very severe. Western countries led by the United States are suppressing China's chip industry. And China's self-controlled, two-dimensional chips are undoubtedly a very good breakthrough point, because it can independently build a user ecosystem and is not subject to the architecture and IP patterns of foreign manufacturers. China's chip equipment self-sufficiency rate has exceeded 35%, Domestic coverage of 28 nanometers process exceeds 80%, and more than half of 14 nanometers key equipment has been verified. It is expected to get rid of import dependence in 2025. China Micro's etching machine has advanced to 7 nanometers, and North Huachuan ranks 6 in the world. The reserve of immersion lithography machines supports the transition period, and domestic substitution is breaking through from mature processes. In 2024, China's cheap exports will exceed 1.1 trillion yuan, surpassing South Korea for the first time to become the second in the world. In the government market, Lucent Computer won 84% of the orders in Shuani District, Beijing. Huawei Ascent AI Chip supports the East-West Computing Project. Cambrian's AI training card is helping scientific research institutions to crack the genetic code. Even U.S. military enterprises have to purchase Chinese gallium and germanium materials. From mobile phones to supercomputers, from factory machine tools to space stations, China's core is tearing a gap in the global semiconductor map with a dual-track strategy of mature technology to ensure survival and cutting-edge technology to seize the future. This silent technological breakthrough may redefine the world's power structure in the next decade.